when a, a person or a group of people starts a new con company, the way that one of the ways in which they become a real company is by uh, 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 they, they draw up what is called articles of incorporation. And when you draw up your articles of incorporation, you pretty much standard practice anymore, and for a long time, has been to start out with the mission statement. Like the mission of this company is, meh, and the mission of that company is, meh, the mission of Peace Health is, meh, and then they build their whole company off of the mission statement. If you've ever looked at the format of the articles of incorporation, they are almost identical to the format of the Constitution of the United States. And just like most articles of incorporation, the company that is uh, the United States of America, at the beginning, before its constitution, has a little mission statement of its own. And it's called the preamble. The preamble. So even though the constitution is set up so that the country will not go outside of its parameters, the preamble is set up so that the constitution will not go outside of its parameters. So, let's just talk about a couple of lines in the preamble real quick. One of those is to provide for the general welfare. Okay, not the welfare of just the rich or just the elites or just the superdelegates of just the ol oligarchy. To provide for the common defense means all peoples, rich or poor, the community, the common defense. Another one in there is to provide for the general welfare. So, providing for the general welfare, guess, guess what that means? That means giving people food stamps, giving people welfare checks, giving people disability checks, giving people that don't have something to have, because that's exactly what the tyrants in Europe would not do at the time of the drafting of the Constitution and the preamble and the Declaration of Independence. So, just real quick, while we're on the topics of things that are constitutional, like slavery is constitutional. Oh, wait, no, it was amended, right? Oh, never mind, never mind, just forget all that. I I'm digressing now. But, you know, my, per my, per my personal predicament right now is that, is that I am homeless. And at the same time, in the town where I am homeless, it is illegal to be homeless. So... And by that, I mean it's illegal to camp inside of most city limits in the United States, which makes me fucking think, what about providing for the general welfare? Where does that come in? Oh, it doesn't. That's why every single camping law in this fucking country is unconstitutional and therefore not American and therefore not a real law if you ask me or anybody else that thinks on that level or on an orbital level, or considers other people's uh, 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 needs as opposed to only their own needs or wants or whatever. You know, it has to do with being compassionate, being charitable, being a Christian. Christian? Yeah, Christian doesn't mean that you hate everybody like a Republican does. A Christian means that you have compassion on everyone, even the Republicans. Because even though they're wrong, guess what? God forgives all sins. Just saying. So by the standard that, that camping is a crime in most cities in the United States, that means all of your ancestors that suffered from the Great Depression and ended up camping were all criminals. Not only that, but the pilgrims that came here and camped before they built houses were criminals. So you're trying to say that the ancestors of me and the forefathers of this country were criminals, and not only that, but the people that were already camping here when we showed up are also criminals. And none of that, none of the criminalization of people that camp has to do with the general welfare. As a matter of fact, it's contradictory to the general welfare, and therefore unconstitutional, and therefore not a real law. So fuck you, Susan Duguid, motherfucking anybody out there that's got a problem with a fucking homeless per person having a fucking tent, dog. If you don't like that shit, get the fuck out of America, because it was started on the preamble, which starts with one of the lines being... Provide for the common defense. Another one being, 
promote the general welfare. So how the fuck does discriminating against poor people promote the general welfare? Oh, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, it makes you un-American, and in my opinion, it kind of makes you a piece of shit. So hey, Obama, you know what I mean? I don't mean to get at you like this, dog, but if you really want to get out there and do something before you get out of office to have an effect for fucking real poor people out here, why don't you decriminalize fucking camping, motherfucker? Not likely. Anyway, good luck being poor in this country, you bunch of fucking selfish Republican fucks.